<clears throat> now I invite Mrs. Sandra Benitsu Wu, Chairperson and Chief Executive Officer of the Kokusai Kogyo Company Limited. Please, you have the floor, man. Thank you, Mr. President, Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I was honored to speak at the Global Platform two years ago. My message to you as a representative of the private sector, as a head of a company that provides DRR to local government across Japan, were that we can be a strong partner in local level DRR. And the best contribution we can make is through our core business strength. I talk about how the private sector in Japan was contributing to the first three stages of dealing with the disasters, preparedness, relief, and recovery, after the Great East Japan earthquake 2011. I introduced the emergency agreement from Japan. The emergency agreement is a great public-private partnership too and easily replicable around the world that will reduce the impact of the disaster by preparing countermeasures in advance and would let local le government take advantage of the expertise of private sector companies in their area. In this global platform, I was honored again given an opportunity to speak at the plenary this time, I spoke about our work in the past two years. In the fourth stage of disaster, reconstruction stage, I talk about a town development project in Tagonishi in Sendai City. Our company is leading the construction of resilient infrastructure, sustainable development of urban areas, and energy safety at Tagonishi. We are doing this through public, private, and academic partnership. We are doing exactly what chair summary of the last global platform said the private sector needs to do. I believe the past two years have proved that we, the private sectors, are strong partners in local level DRR and we best contribute through our core business strengths. I believe in the past two years, the public sector has realized how capable private company can be as partners in DRR, and private companies on their parts realize how much they can do. This time, through our experiences in the reconstruction of Sendai, and the northeastern region of Japan, I offer the following three tips. First, to engage the private sector at a local level, you need to form partner private among public, private, and academic sectors. Second, when the private sector applies their core business and the core technology to DRR, you will get innovative solutions in DRR that benefit the whole community. And lastly, we must always look for and use lessons learned from new disasters because there will be always new lessons and also new solutions. We are now at the point of developing a post-2015 framework. We know that the private sector can contribute to risk reduction by managing our supply chain, planning for business continuity, and through other business strategies. To mainstream DRR, resilience needs to be given a market value. Koksai Kogyo and the UNISDR Kobe office has put together a joint publication titled private sector strengths applied. This talk, that talk about this, in it are 14 case studies across different sectors, where good practice, 
lessons learned, and the practical tips for replication are described. The private sector has been especially active in DRR in Japan this past two years. And I think that collectively, we have a lot to share with the world. So as a business person, I will continue to work in Japan to build back better. And as a member of PSAG, I will continue to raise awareness of good practice from Japan. Thank you very much for your attention.